this is a general reading for the collective um i pulled four cards well four five six seven seven cards for you guys so this is just very general um it's just messages for the collective which means it's going to be for all signs um feel free to leave a comment below if this reading like helps you out some way in some way so basically this is um the cards that I have pulled out for the collective, but it's basically just like um, a message for you before we before you move into 2020, I guess you can say. Um, so the first card that we have is forgiveness. And we have recovery. Um, we have there's something better. communicate clearly and then um, at the bottom of the angel answer cards we have don't stop and for your energy oracle cards I pulled two cards for you guys and um, the first card that came out is number 29 which is the world card um, this card came out because I had pulled a card for like the collective I took a picture of it and posted it um, I think it's like in a community tab. I don't know if people actually see that because um, I don't really get that much engagement when I post like a picture of a card or something. So you guys might want to check the community tab. I don't know how that works um, with the whole like YouTube thing. I don't know if you guys actually see it, but this card came out for you guys. Um, the world card, which is number 29. And then the other card is number eight, which is indecision. So with this, um, as a collective reading, this is just what I feel like is um, this message is. So with this forgiveness, it's like before you move into 2020, um, there's like a need to forgive anything or anybody who may have caused you any type of hurt or pain. So basically, this is just telling you to like to let go of any type of hurt or pain before the 2020 hit. Before 2020 hits. And also, too, it's like maybe you need to forgive yourself also, too. Maybe you caused somebody some type of hurt or pain. But it's like there's like a need to forgive because with this recovery, um, for some of you guys, it's like you're going to be recovering from like, this is like job. If you lost a job, um, this could be in regards to like someone's finances or any type of like material item. Like it could be a house like something tangible it could be a house car it's like people are going to be recovering from any type of loss with this recovery card for most people it's uh mainly money um and with this there's something better it's like whatever you lost it's like it's, you're going to be recovering from that but it's like whatever you lost it's like you're going to be getting something way better it's like it's going to be replaced with something way better. With this, there's something better. So that's why it's like I need to forgive. It's like maybe um, somebody's like holding on to some type of hurt or pain or loss. Some, some people may feel like they lost out on a lot in 2019. But it's like you just need to forgive that and just like leave it where it's at. Because it's recovery here for you. Um, with this communicate clearly, I feel like some people may have been speaking their truth. Um, and just like communicating their truth too with people. But this is like encouragement to keep doing that in 2020. And we have don't stop. So with this don't stop, it's like um, some of you guys may have like goals. And you may be like working on goals like all 2019, but you haven't really seen anything like materialize but with this it's like don't stop because when you start when you keep working on those goals it's like you're gonna see something come from out of it in 2020 and also too uh weight was below don't stop so it's like people have been waiting for things to happen for them like you could have been waiting all 2019 for something to like for something to happen but I do feel like in 2020, you should see something change. Um, so with this, 
so with this world card oh actually i'm just gonna pull tarot cards real quick and then i'll get into the world card and that indecision so with that indecision um with this indecision number eight it's kind of hard to see it but basically it's just someone standing in like a red cape with a hood on it it's like very mysterious and um they're standing in between like a um it's almost like a crossroads i guess but the two signs on both sides it's like the unknown it's like should they go left or should they go right but it's unknown so it's like they don't really know they don't know what's going to happen or what they're going to see when they make a left or when they make a right so this is like very mysterious but it's like a lot of people are going into the unknown so for some of you guys you may be like kind of nervous about going into 2020 it's like you don't know what's going to happen you don't know what's coming towards you but it's the unknown and they say that the unknown is where the magic lies so it's like don't even worry about it <laughs> it's sometimes it's just like meant for you not to know and with the world card number 29 um for some of you guys it's like you're gonna be for some people i know a lot of pe um, tarot readers have been picking up on this it's like a lot of people are going to be put be like on platforms um with this world card it's like whatever you do for work it's like maybe you'll get the opportunity to be on some kind of platform with the world card because this is all about expansion and opening up but also too if you notice in this picture it's kind of hard to see but it's like a figure right here like um someone don't know if it's male or female but basically look like it looks like they're going into the unknown so it's like a lot of you guys could be expanding it's like somebody could be expanding um when it comes towards their work it's like whatever you've been working on in 2019 it's like you're gonna see something happen for yourself give me one for forgiveness give me one for forgiveness Give me one for forgiveness, please. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we have the page of swords. So most of definitely, um, for some of you guys, you may have people like spectators or people like gossiping. Um, like some of you guys could have been like in a lot of drama also too, or just have people like watching you with this page of swords but it's like a very it's very important for you to forgive and move on yeah because some of you guys could have spoke your truth with this ace of swords being at the bottom of the deck give me another one for forgiveness please That page of swords, um, that could be like for, um, some people's like exes. Yeah. That could definitely be like for somebody's exes. It's like maybe you moved on from somebody, but they're still watching you. And you could be, um, some of you could be like communi still communicating with them. But for some of you guys, it's like you're single also too. But also, too, with this Queen of Swords, it's like you guys definitely cut people off. With this Queen of Swords, it clarified the um, Forgiveness card also, too. So we got the Page of Swords and the Queen of Swords. But it's almost like this is how it's showing up with Forgiveness. It's like the Page of Swords with the Queen of Swords. So this could be you, the Queen of Swords, and it's like people who have been spying, gossiping. It's almost like they're trying to come at you. Maybe you cut them off with this Queen of Swords. But also, too, with the Queen of Swords, it's like she's very discerning, too. So it's like maybe you guys caught on to people, but, um, yeah, it's just like a kind of like a cut off and let go type of situation. Like you cut them off, but then it's just like forgive them also, too. Give me one for recovery. 
Give me one for recovery. So we have the three of cups that came out for recovery. So most definitely, um, like I said, it's like people are going to be recovering from things. Um, this could be health and also finances too. But with this, it's like you're going to be able to celebrate also too with this three of cups. And also too, it's like if you cut off some friends that may have been like gossiping or just like, yeah, that like the gossip. It's like you're going to be recovering. You're going to find new friends with this three of cups. Give me one for recovery, please. Yeah. So when I said that, um, like, if you feel like you lost a house, this is like, for me, this is like a living situation, like a house with this four rods. If you lost a house, it's like you're going to be recovering. You're going to find a new house. Give me one for there's something better. Yeah, so we have the tower. So some of you guys could have definitely experienced several tower tower moments in 2019. So it's with this, um, there's something better. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot of change for you guys. But for some of you guys, it's like you're not going to know, you know, where this is going to come from with this tower card. But it's like you're going to get everything back that you lost. And for some of you guys, you could have been like kind of stuck or put on pause also too. Maybe you felt like things were on pause. It could be like financially. Um, financially, it could be in regards to your love life also too. It's like things were put on a pause in 2019, but that's going to change. Um, give me one for there's something better. Cool. Yeah, so we have the five of cups. So some of you guys could have been... This is definitely like somebody feeling like they lost out on something and you could be feeling like regretful also too, but you shouldn't feel like that because there's something better here. Somebody, um, somebody could have experienced like a tower moment and it's like it has you um, as this five of cups, like a mood, like this um, feeling sad or regretful. You could have even experienced some kind of depression about losing something, but um, this message is saying that there's something better. It's like you're going to recover from that. Um, and then we have the nine of rods at the bottom of the deck. It's like maybe you feel wounded in a situation. But this is all about strength also too. It's like you're going to come out of that five of cups um, energy. Like feeling sad, depressed. Give me one for communicate clearly. Mm. So this world card came out for communicate clearly so we have two world cards here so we have this world card and then this one and when i said when i was saying something about like expanding like some people are going to be put on platforms that's why i say it's like communicating clearly some 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 people are going to be put on platforms where it's like people are going to be able to hear you somehow i don't know how but with this world card this is like somebody on a platform um with this world card it's like you somebody like your voice is going to be able to be heard somehow give me another one for communicate clearly yeah we have the world card it's like somebody starting something completely new with this full card but uh, for some of you guys, it's like you may be getting, um, so with this indecision card in number eight, I feel like this is like someone receiving like a whole bunch of opportunities and it's almost like they don't really know. It's like the unknown for them. So this is like something completely new for someone with the full card. Um, this could be someone actually traveling also too with this full card and then the world card. But for some people, it's like they're going to be receiving like so many opportunity opportunities. It's like they're they're not going to be able to um to know like which one to pick. And it could be something like completely different from like what you what you're doing now for work. 
Because with this full card, it's like someone taking a risk or taking a leap of faith also too. So it could be like some, somebody taking a risk or a leap of faith towards like moving somewhere with this world card, like moving across the country or something. But then it's like somehow you're going to be able to speak your truth or something about something. But for some people, it's like you could be about to be on some kind of platform with this communicate clearly in the world card. But whatever, um, whatever some people are starting new with this full card in the world card, it's like you're going to be able to expand or it's like opening up. So I'm going to do one for Don't Stop. Oh, actually, I'm going to do this world card. Give me one for the world. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. And we have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the day. This is like communication. So like I said, with this world card, it's like someone is going to be able to like... um. With this Ace of Swords, this is like communication or like someone actually speaking on some kind of platform somehow. Or like expanding or um, it's like whatever you say or talk about, it's like the world is going to be able to hear you or know. They're going to know about you also too with this Ace of Swords. I know that's not going to be for everybody, but... That's just what I get. But with this Eight of Wands, this could be like online also too. With this Eight of Wands, this is like internet or like email. Um, also like television too with that world card. It's like expanding. And this world card too with the tarot deck. Like somebody could be put on TV somehow. Give me one for indecision. Let's see what this is about. Give me one for indecision, please. Indecision. Hmm. So we have the four of swords with indecision. For some of you guys, um, with this four of swords, I'm just getting like meditation. It's like almost like somebody's going to be getting um, so many opportunities with this sun card. Um, with this sun card, this is like material gain also too. So like I said, it's like if you lost something like material wise, it's like you're going to be recovering from that. Like you're going to get it back, but it's going to be like 10 times better than what you lost. So with this four of swords, it's like whatever this indecision is are like these opportunities that... Um, someone is having a hard time deciding on it's like you're gonna have to meditate about this whatever this is for someone because it's like the unknown with this indecision or maybe you just don't know somebody really doesn't know or they're unsure of like where this opportunity is going to take them um somehow and it could be, um, I feel like this is like for someone who's going to be put on some kind of platform also too. It's like, maybe they don't really know how it's going to turn out. Because it could be completely different from like the type of work that you're doing right now somehow. So I'm just going to leave the reading right here. Um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment below. <laughs> and also...